Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. We had 174 subscribers. Subscribe to the channel, you know. It don't take much, it don't take long either, alright? Make sure I follow your boy on social media. Instagram, YT underscore T Loader, TikTok, and Twitter, T Loader underscore. Now, in today's video, y'all see that year 20, 2033. We're gonna see what would the NBA look like 10 years from now. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. But before we do our ritual, sim in the first half of the season, we're gonna see what all has happened the past, from the pre previous 10 years. Luca has been reigning of dominance over the NBA since twenty, since the twenty uh twenty eight twenty eight to thirty three year season. He been getting a lot of MVPs, but like he got one, two, three, four, five. He got six MVPs back to back to back to back to back, undefeated. John Moran got two MVPs during that time. Darius Garland got one. Trey Young got back to back. Okay, so Luca has been carrying the lead. Rookie of the year, we don't care about defensive player of the year. We don't care about that much. Most improved, we don't care. Okay. Now the Hall of Fame, everybody waiting for. Who will be in the NBA from two years from now? So, we finna go from the 23 season. I seen a lot of names. Okay. So in 2024, Carmelo retired. I'm pretty sure he wasn't playing. The White retired. I'm pretty sure he wasn't playing either. Chris Paul in the retiring in 2026. Also, LeBron retired in 2026. The next year after that, Paul George in the retiring. The next year after that, his uh, dual partner, Kawhi Leonard, ended up retiring in 2028. Who would have thought Paul George would retire before Kawhi Leonard? Who would have thought? And then the same year, Russell Westbrook ended up retiring. Also, Damian Miller retired. Steph Curry retired the same year. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Four players ended up retiring in 2028. James Harden ended up retiring in 2029. Really? Okay. Joel Embiid, 2020. I mean, 2030, he never retired. The Anthony Davis, he never retired in 2031. He outlasted all these players. Wow. Then Giannis never retired in the same year as Anthony Davis, Kyrie, and Kevin Durant never retired in 2032. Wow. That's history, ain't it? All those players are gone. Now we're gonna see them through the first half of the season, and we're gonna we're gonna see what all these teams are made of since most of the superstars from the NBA today is gone from 10 years from now. So, yeah, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out. Yeah, well, I'm not out, but you know. Yeah, but you know. All right. Now it's time to find out what all these teams are looking like in the NBA, especially war races. Luka's still playing somewhat good. Gregory Walker, I don't know who that is. The Miller Ball on the Bulls now. Okay, cutting him on the Spurs. All right, so let's see what all these teams are looking like. Let's not even go to the roster. I'm pretty sure it's on people we don't even know. League standard, there we go. Toronto Raptors, the best team in the NBA. Oh, well, the Mavericks, the best team in the NBA. Have been, I don't know who that is. Have, I don't know who that is. Keanu Haynes, this is a bunch of AIs, just a random CPUs. Colin Sexton on the Mavs. Lakers, looking AI-ish CPU. Okay, C still got Shea. And Josh Giddy. Toronto. Who Toronto got? Mostly, I'm most moody. Yeah, there's a lot of AIs. Trey Young still on the Hawks. Wow. So he stayed loyal to the Hawks. Him and Luka so far stayed on the same team for the, for the past 10 years. But Devin Booker is on Atlanta Hawks. Okay. He's 37 too. Wow. On the Hawks. On the bench. Anybody else? Uh, Paolo in the stand with the Mad. I mean, not with the Mad. With the uh, Magic. Okay, and who was the worst team? The Milwaukee Buck and the, the Knicks. Look at the Knicks, bro. Of course, they had to be the team down there. And, and the Suns end up having, they, they ain't nothing in 10 years. And the Memphis Grizzlies, the Warriors, Nuggets, Clippers. None of those teams really it. Besides the map, yeah. These, these teams are solid, I guess. So let's send them to the end of the season and see who wins the MVP in the year 2023, 2024, in the, in the year of uh, 2033 and the 2034 season. Gregory Rocker and then being an MVP. I don't know who that is. We're gonna check his stats. He's pretty pretty solid that 31 32 season. He really just came he really just came in the league to 24 years of age. He won the MVP. Josh Gideon and being the sixth man of the year for the OKC. Okay. And coach of the year? I don't know, but they're the best team. Uh in K Cunningham. Okay, that's a rising star, I guess. At age 32. Everton. That's the best season? No, it's 31. Oh wow, he was getting buckets. The best year was 20, 29, 30. Okay. What look a guy? 15. 
trying to see is there any recent Lamelo? 14. What was his best year? Like 26, 27, 20, 29. Okay, huh? All right. Let's get to the playoffs. I don't care about Sixers being eliminated. So now we got the Lakers going against the Clippers. Rival of the LA. Uh, okay, everything looking pretty much solid. Just let's send round by round to see what we got. Lakers end up going around two. Spurs end up going around two. Spurs, big surprise. Dallas Mavericks end up going around two. Gets Portland. The Kings still doing, I guess, pretty good. The Magic end up going to the second round. Big surprise. And the Beating Bulls in seven. Detroit Pistons in the playoffs. And they end up advancing to the second round also. And the Hawks. Are, okay. We end for a big surprise this video, I'm, I'm guessing. So, okay. The Hawks end up making it to the Eastern Conference Finals. So did the Magic. Big surprises. Huge surprises, to be honest with you. And they end up escaping another game seven. And on the Western Conference side, the Lakers end up beating the Spurs in the seven game series. And the Dallas Mavericks end up being the Kings in the sixth game. Wow. I want to see the I want to see these game sevens. 22. K okay, cutting him did his thing. Okay, 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 okay. Magic. Not too much scoring for real. Not too much scoring in the NBA. I don't know why as the years progress the scoring go down. But let's sim this the Western Conference Final and the Eastern Conference Final. And let's see who meet up in the finals. Uh okay. The Lakers end up being beat. The, uh, the Lakers end up losing in Game 7. And the uh, Atlanta Hawks end up losing in Game 6. So it's Magic against the Mavericks? Wow. Who, who would have thought? I, I would have said that. Somebody said that. That's crazy, ain't it? So let's simulate the uh, finals and let's see who win it all in 2023. I, I can, oh, my God. 2023. And the 20, 2033 and the 2034 season. 10 years from now. Let's see. You never know. I might be predicting the future, the future, and you never know. God, boy, I'm struggling talking. So the Mavericks end up winning the championship in the 2033 and the 2034 season against the uh, Magic. And Greg Gregory Douglas end up being the final MVP out of 11. They end up beating them in Game Seven. Wow. So a lot has changed in the pre in the last 10 years of the NBA. A lot of great. NBA players in the retiring, they in the Hall of Fame now. Yeah, I don't know what to say to that. I don't know what to say about that. A lot of greats in the retiring in the past 10 years that we had to let go, sadly. But if y'all like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video, subscribe to the channel. We have 174 subscribers. Subscribe. Uh, make sure you follow me on, on my social media, Instagram, my T underscore T loaded, TikTok, and Twitter T loaded underscore. I hope y'all enjoy your Friday, and I'm out. Peace.